What's up guys, I'm Lamont Holtz and we're about to meet up with Jarrell Ware and take a walk in his shoes. We're in Inglewood, California right now. Let's get it happening. What's up Jarrell? Hi there. I'm Jarrell. Jarrell Ware. There's lotion You're on so my hands. Lotion. <laughs> Are you really just combing your hair now? I'm gonna get my hair rebraided soon so it's not gonna always look like this. You go your hair out that long. Man, fuck you. <laughs> Robbie's camera's like all up in the hair too, like damn. I got a few questions for you. Alright, so how old are you? I am 19 years old. So tell everybody what your sponsors are. Marquisa Premium Goods and Fresh Life Apparel. Yeah. I just can't do this with your hair. Alright, I'm gonna continue the questions once he's okay. done combing his hair. This nigga ugly. I'm going to your house to make fun of your photos? I got no photos, bro. Why you got a big ass butterfly? Like that? I'm going to show you my brothers. Hey, guys. This is my brother Arnel. What's up, G? This is Perry. This is my room. Pay close attention to the skate door. It's my favorite. This one. It's the best one. Tribe crew. Back in the day. Search it up. You know about Tribe crew? That's my shit. I'm going to turn this crazy music down. I say the music. I'm just kidding. Some old people shit. Alright, let's see what's in this nigga's refrigerator. Typical black shit. What's in the freezer? This nigga always complaining that he ain't got no food. This shit look packed as fuck. Look at that, that's my favorite. Where we about to go right now? Let's head up to Darby. My local skate park that I own. Yeah, your local skate park. It's my local skate park. I live in the center of the hood with straight hair. Think about that. He sticks out like a sword. Like a sore fucking thumb. All right, explain Inglewood to everybody. It's a great place to be. Some of the people make it bad. Some of the people make it good. It's half and half, like any city. Let's go to the bottoms. It gets a little bit worse. Hey, look, it's my old skateboard. Judson gave me that. That's one of the people I like to skate with. But ever since he dropped this video part, he's just you know. Stupid. <laughs> things have been different. That's a joke we like to say to him. Who's joking? He's just mad because he ain't got street part out. Or friends. I do have a street park. Fuck you. You do have a friend. Fuck you. Thingling. That's more Gianna from my yeah, you can see you. that. Alright, Jara. What's up, man? How long have you been skating for? I've been skating for seven years. You know, what made you want to skate? What got you into it? A bad influence. We started off by like stealing some kids' boards like down the street. What? Yeah. And then <laughs> we just went to Darby. Yeah, I did my first shove it up there. And I was like, oh shit, we're skateboarders. And now you're a beast. No, I'm not that great, but I'm alright. I have fun. What do you get from it? What's your satisfaction? I think back then, like when I started... Damn, you see them asterisks? Back then, the reason I started was just to get around to places. I just started doing tricks and shit. And it was just fun. It still is fun. That's the only reason I really do it. Well, Lamont, I got a question for you. What's good? What's Victoria's Secret? Uh, isn't it like a clothing line for like underwears and shit for hoes? That's not the answer I was looking for. My heart is cold, Woo! my soul on fire. Oh, I see is blood of gold like the 49ers. Ah, SK to J, by the way. He's sick. New language. Si una rosa estás tú, si encararás mirar estás tú. So, what type of music do you listen to? A little bit of everything. I don't like annoying rap music at all. But I listen to all types of music, basically. Kind of. Not country. Fuck country. Fuck techno. Fuck dubstep. Like, my favorite rapper would probably be like Atmosphere, Idea and Abilities, Sage Francis and stuff. But my favorite bands, that's like DRI, Reagan Youth, Minor Threat, Seven Seconds, Suicidal Tendencies. So you say this segment's called A Walk in My Shoes, right? I hope you fit nine and a half. Alright, I'm going. Bitch. 
Okay, I feel like a bitch. Fuck. Since he landed, I'm gonna count that as a bank. in your bitch's DMs like. Jarrell, what are some of the things that you hate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good question. I hate annoying rap music that doesn't have any meaning. I hate parents who can't take care of their fucking kids, let them roll around on the floor and shit, running around, causing everybody trouble. I hate that bitch I took the prom. I hate the gap in my teeth. I hate kids who can watch like a full video part and then leave a comment like, oh, his shoes sucked. I hate kids who try to snake you at a fucking skate park or try to one-up your trick. I hate you. Nigga, fuck you. Nigga. Why are we friends? You know what? I find myself asking myself that every Some day. Some Illuminati shit, that's why. I hate the smell of cigarettes. I hate the phrase, bruh, bruh. <laughs> bruh, bruh. Never call me that. Hey, Don't bruh, do bruh. that. I hate <laughs> emos. I hate racism. We were at a show one time, me and my friend Tyler, and like there's a couple of racist skinheads there in Inglewood, 109. We broke that nigga's arm. Hey, bruh, bruh, you crazy. Dude. I hate fat girls who call themselves thick. <laughs> I don't like stanky niggas, because I be on the bus, got the new Jordans on, but you smell like you never heard a speed stick. Such a great question you asked someone. I hate monthly anniversaries. I hate people who say they want to take a break. Like, bitch, what you mean take a break? Y'all look like summer vacation to you? Fucking Kit Kat bar, you better stop with all that bullshit. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> can you at least name one thing that you love? Booty. <laughs> Booty. <laughs> I love skateboarding. I like watching anime a hell of a lot. My favorite animes, just gonna say it. What are your favorite animes? I hate that he watches anime all the damn time when he's skating. My favorite animes though, it's gotta be Clonad, Anohana, and Angel Beats. If you haven't seen it, check it out. That shit's dope. This is Jarrell's friend, Will. So what do you gotta say about Jarrell? Dope ass skater. He actually got me into skating. Came to my house, he was like, yo, you're the fat kid. And I was like, yo, you're that nigga with a perm. Oh. He was oh. like, damn right. That is how it went down. And then oh. after that, you know. We skated. Yeah, we just skated together. Just tell you. Cool. Perfect. Truth they said that. That's enough for Darby Park. Let's go. Peace out, homies. Bye. Right. <laughs> Let's go. Niggas giving names out. Why the fuck do you snitch? Valleys of shadows on the road to riches. So we at Westchester Park now. There's a little event going on. I think Jarrell, you're gonna enter it probably. Not Davis. So I guess Jarrell's about to enter this. Have you ever won a contest before? Yeah, a couple. When I was younger. That wasn't played out at all. Yo! Everybody in the contest, come to the five stand. Hey! 
Oh my mama! Hey, if you in the comp, come to the five, please. All right, so first up, we're gonna do the mini hubbas and the mani pad. We're gonna call your name one by one. All right, up next, we got Jarrell Wynn. Raise your hand, Jarrell. Hey, what's up, guys? Get it, Alex. You got it. We're here on my channel, Lamont Holt TV. We're about to get this. 50 50. Rest in peace, my brother. Don't worry, I'll help your mother. Forget about a dead kid, but making her another. I'll get her pregnant. Yeah, bro. Whoa! Hey! All right. Jarrell. One more time. Oh! Hey, that was smooth. That was smooth. Yeah. All right, Jack, Jack Davis. Best trick? Y'all got five minutes. Three, two, one, go. Come on, one more minute. Alright, everybody sit down. We, we're gonna uh, pick the finalists. So we we decided that we're gonna have first up Rashid. Clap, clap. Good job. Good job, Rashid. Okay. And uh where I went. I'm gonna need y'all to follow me on Instagram. Low underscore so is up. You know, I wanna give a big shout out to the guy up above. Shout out to Brazilian butt lift over there. And if, I, oh, I call all y'all slipping. Just, they ain't got no bev. None of them got bev on them right now. No bev. We gotta get this going. Okay, so. We're actually oh, taking bro. a risk. Rashid, 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 and uh, Jarrell. You ain't got no bev either. Three, two, one, go. Jarrell with the help of boy slide. Uh -huh. You gotta get a little cleaner than that. If it's good, I'm salute. Oh, oh, I'm in a bunch of win a bad. Alright, this is your last try. Oh, much alone. Oh, wow. Alright, one more try, Jarrell. All these girls won this game. Ah, good. First place. We decided to give the board to Jarrell. While she came in second place. Okay, third. Right here, we'll give it. Oh. Like rock star. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see the front, bro. Watch it. Oh, nigga. <laughs> right. See that booty over there? Jarrell. It's a professional about booty. I am a booty connoisseur. I know all about the gluteus maximus, but donk donk Dookie maker. Everything there is to know. I'm laying. He's just a trainee right now. I'm Master Cheeks. Alright, Jarrell. Who are your favorite favorite players? Rodney Mullen, Day One Song, Mark Johnson, Cooper Wilt. Like a lot of people on almost. Chris Haslam. Creative skateboarders. What are your short term goals? For now, well, since I'm 19, I plan on moving out of my house and finding a place to stay on my own. And I also want to rebraid my hair and work on it, working on my new video part. Who you been filming with for that? Well, I've been filming with Devontae Jolly, uh, Joseph Mayo, Robbie Alpine. That's you. Mm -hmm. All types of people. So tell me a crazy story. This is going to be a pretty long one. Probably about a year back. It was me, you, and Judson. You probably know what story it is going to be. We were out at fall eating. Sorry I'm shaking. It's pretty cold in here. And I got a call from my homie Kyle. 
And then like he was like, oh shit, like there's some niggas up here from Little Linux Thresse. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say the full name. Trying to jack him or some shit. And then I was like, I started freaking out. I was like, we gotta rush up there. And like we had just got done skating with Nigel and everybody. And they had just sat down to get their food. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I mean, they said, all right. And I was like, cool. So we rush over there as fast as possible. And I don't know, everybody's in a bit of disarray. We showed up kind of late, I suppose. And then find out that they took one of the local kids board. And so I had just got a, some trucks. Somebody had just given me some trucks. So I gave him my old ones, which was perfect timing. They had the wheels and everything on it. So it was cool. And we just like, fuck, man. Like everybody was a little bummed out. So we go to my homie's aunt's house and like talking, everything escalated. And they're just like, man, fuck it. Let's, let's ride on these niggas. <laughs> so everybody just got up, got a bat, because they had a bat too. Like I heard that um, dudes had tried to like swing on my homies like with a bat and shit. People were getting chased around. And like the only person who was trying to fight was like really my homie Chewy and my homie Kyle. And everybody else was a little shook. So I was like, you know, couldn't really do much. So everybody got upset and they wanted to go ride on them. So we went all the way around Inglewood looking for these niggas and did not find a damn thing. And so eventually we give up, walking back towards my house and then like they're across the street. And then my homie Chewy was just like, oh look, there's the, there they are over there. And he's just like, I never. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, I got your ass now. <laughs> Starts pushing the button extra hard. Lamont was on the bike, like, he was on the phone. He didn't know what was going on. He was like, huh? <laughs> and then, like, and then Tyler, my friend Tyler, like, it's like six to seven of us. Like, he's getting ready to run across the street and shit. Like, he's in the middle of ongoing traffic and shit. And, like, everybody's ready, like, yeah, hey, we got your ass on me. And then, like, Dude starts hopping around like with a girl. She's like, no, don't do it, babe. No, fool. And then like he starts hopping around and he pulls out a gun and shit. And I was like, oh shit, the nigga got a gun. And then like, so he book it way up my street, 102, like hella fast. And Lamont, he's like all extra late. He's like, oh shit, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. And he gets on the bike. I'm so excited like that. <laughs> but you sounded shook, dude. Like, everybody I just pulled out a gun out of nowhere. I got a gun. I was on the bike. We even bumped into my brother. And then I, he's always calm for some reason. And then I was like, dude, like we almost got shot. And like we were all yelling in disarray. And then he was all like, bro, calm down. I was like, no, you're not understanding. We almost died. He was like, okay, the house is right there. What are your fears? What are you scared of? I'm scared of not being happy. I'm scared of failing, as everybody is. I really just want to live happily. Like right now, I'm happy. I just want this to be continuous because things are changing as you get older. Things get a little bit harder. You're gonna have to find a way to live. And so I'm working on that. And I just want to be happy and live my life. That's, that's, that's real. Other niggas would have said spiders. What are your dreams? My dream, long term, to go pro. As every kid who skateboards, you know? And not because it brings about fame and shit. Just because I like skateboarding. And if I can do that for a living, why not? I enjoy it that much. And I think I just really want, like, I don't need, like, that great of a house, but I just want a house, a wife, some kids. I want to start a family. I want to raise my kids right and give them things I didn't have and get out the hood. So what's next for you? Hopefully, keep working on this street part, do the best that I can, and see where it takes me. So, yeah, that's it for a walk, a walk in my shoes with Jarrell Ware. It's a perfect way to end it off, dog. For sure. Follow him on Instagram at Jarrell Ware and me at Lamont Holt One.